Did you know stress can live in your hair? Scientists have known for a while that kids with long-term illness are more likely to struggle with negative emotions, such as sadness and worry. But a group of scientists in Canada wanted to know if there was an effective way to spot these children before their negative emotions got too overwhelming. To do this, they looked for clues in their hair. The team worked with 244 kids in Canada who were all living with long-term illnesses such as diabetes and juvenile arthritis. Over the four years, the scientists collected hair samples, using hair that was within three centimeters of the scalp. They also gave parents a checklist to fill out with questions about their children's behavior and stress levels. Scientists then used special chemical tests to measure the exact amount of the stress hormone cortisol trapped inside each hair sample. This gave them a number that represented the child's long-term stress levels. Using a computer program, they sorted the kids into different groups based on their stress levels over the course of four years. They then compared these stress groups with the parents' checklist, allowing them to see if the amount of stress found in the hair was linked to the emotional and behavioral challenges parents witness with their kids at home. After four years, the researchers looked at all the data and found that two main groups of kids emerged. A high stress group where more than two thirds of the kids had high levels of stress hormone that stayed high the entire time of the study. These were the same kids whose parents said that they struggled with extreme levels of anxiety, depression, and behavioral problems. The second group were kids who had high stress levels that gradually went down over the course of the four year study. These kids had far fewer mental health issues and as a result of the decreased stress levels, the stress hormones in their hair over time decreased as well. This discovery means that one day, a simple painless hair test could possibly act as an early warning signal for mental health issues.